Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I bring to you the second video of my series How to Mod. Today I'll be covering what install package files is, how to use it, what homebrew is, what apps are, all that kind of good stuff. So basically, this is going to be the basis of modding. So this is what differentiates a custom firmware or a jailbroken PS3 from any regular PS3. On a regular PS3, when you go to your game section, you don't see this install package file type thing. You also don't see this app home thing, but we're not going to be covering that today. Um, so what we're going to be talking about is this, this cool install package files, because in the previous video we installed our custom firmware, it's KML 3.55. Um, so yeah, we have install package files. Uh, before I get into install package files, you have to understand what homebrew is. So another you know word for homebrew that you might see is apps, but I'm going to be referring to it as homebrew, as that's more correct, I guess. Um, so these are two examples of homebrew. Basically homebrew um, is sort of an application that allows you to do something um, with your PS3 by opening it up and you know, it's an application. So like on your computer, let's say you have Skype, well on here you have these applications, these homebrew, but they're not really like Skype, they do other things. So a very common type of homebrew that's very prominent is a file manager which allows you to view the files inside your PS3's hard drive and modify them however you'd like. So that's one of the most useful things to have. That's you know basically the point of modding. So let's install package files. Well before that, what's, what are package files? So package files um, hold things like homebrew or apps inside them. Um, they can also hold other things, but generally it's homebrew. And so install package files, install those to your PS3. So when you so basically you put one of those on your USB, plug it into your PS3, go and install package files, and you'd click on one of them, which I'll demonstrate um, soon. And then it will install, and then you'll see some homebrew or app pop up right here. So basically it's kind of like um, like using PlayStation Store. So you go to PlayStation Store, you want to download a game, see so like you you know you don't want a disc, you just want a game. So you download it, you pay some money for it, it downloads, and where does it save? It saves right here. So it's kind of the same thing as install package files, except you can install whatever you want from your USB um, right here. So today we're going to be installing something called Multiman. Multiman has lots of different uses, hence the name Multiman. Um, one of the biggest uses of Multiman is a file manager, as I mentioned before. So I'll show you how to use that and how to install it. So how do we install Multiman? Uh, first, you want to you know, open up your desired web browser, uh, like I am here, using Chrome. And uh, there's lots of places you could get uh, homebrew. It doesn't really matter, but one place, if you're lost, is brewology.com. Uh, so I will, uh, I'll put this in the description of the video. Here is the URL right here, if you want. But yeah, it'll be in the description. So what you want to do is go to homebrew, as I you know talked about before, homebrew. Um, and under apps... Uh, we're going to scroll down to Multiman. So Multiman is right here. Just go ahead and click on it. And for our purpose today, we're going to be using Multiman Base, just this regular one. Let's just click Download, and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so now as you can see, it's done downloading right here. Uh, so what we're going to do um, is just save to my desktop right here. So go ahead and open up your USB. So mine is removable, removable disk J. And drag it into the root of your USB. Don't put it inside any folders, just to the root, like this. I wouldn't rename it if I were you, I just keep it how it is. I'm not so sure how much that matters, it probably doesn't, but I, I won't touch it, just be safe. So there you go. And as you might notice, it says PKG file, and PKG stands for package, so this is a package file. And within this, you have the app Multiman. You have Homebrew inside here. This itself, I guess, isn't technically Homebrew, but inside it is, and it unpacks Homebrew. It's kind of like um, having like a WinRAR file or like a zip file, and then unzipping it inside there, you have like an exe. It's kind of like this. This is kind of like a WinRAR, but then and your PS3 kind of unzips it and then opens up this Homebrew. So that's what it is. So now that it's in the root of your USB. Uh, just go ahead and take our USB. You could safe it, safely eject it if you'd like. Um, eject cruiser. And I could go ahead and plug it into your PS3. As always, I recommend doing anything that you install on your PS3 
on the right hand slot um, of your USB port. So the right USB slot is where you should be installing this. Um, you could do it from the from the left one, the first one, but the second one is always safer when you're uh, installing stuff, just saying. And so once your USB is inside your PS3, you can go ahead and scroll up to install package files. When you click on it now, you should see that something actually pops up. So we see that we have this multi-man package inside there. Um, and yeah, install package files just reads any package files that are on your USB. So all you gotta do is just click X right on it. And it'll install. So this is 34 megabytes, not gonna take very long. Let that install. And just click circle. And now you see that you have some sort of weird thing. Uh, this is Multiman right here. This is the logo for it. Um, and let me just mute the TV real quick because there's some you know pretty annoying music in Multiman. So just go ahead and you know click on Multiman. And you're gonna have to accept these uh, agreements. And the reason why we're doing Multiman uh, as opposed to any other um, homebrew is because Multiman is just, I think anybody should have it. And this is the most, you know, like, I don't know, this is kind of the, ba the the most bare bone homebrew that anyone should have. This is kind of, I don't know, you just should have it, I guess. So oh, I'm just going to go back. I don't know why I just did that. Um, so you end up in this weird looking, you know, XMB PS3 looking thing. So yeah, this is Multiman. You're not actually in your PS3 XMB anymore. You're inside this. Uh, you're inside Multiman. It's you know obviously meant to look like your PS3, but it's really not. Um, so all you're gonna do to view the file manager is click select and start at the same time. And sometimes it might say restart Multiman. Just click no and try it again. And it should take you to this uh, file manager type thing. So basically. In order to view your PS3's uh, hard drive and all its files, you go into PS3 root. So here's um, some of the organized folders of your PS3. Uh, to view your, to really view your PS3, you're going to have to go into dev underscore hdd0. That's your PS3's hard drive. You have all the stuff in here. Um, this probably looks pretty confusing to you right now because you don't know what any of it is, maybe. <clears throat> uh, but eventually it will. So there's a lot of stuff. So let's say you want to go into game and under in lower caps. This is basically anything from update utility, uh, pretty much, which I think I erased everything off my PS3. So, but if you were to have like MW3 installed or something, you'd see um, something like uh, Blues30838 or something in here. And then you go inside there, um, you know. So this, there's a lot of stuff you could do in here and, you know, use, as, use it as a file manager. I'm not really going to be going through that today because all I want you to know is basically how to install package files and, you know, what homebrew is. So um, to exit, it's just like you're pretty much just pretend you're running a game right now. This is kind of like a game. All you got to do is just hold down the, the PlayStation button, click quit game. Yes. So, yeah, really, really simple. Um, and to get you a good feel of it, I'll go into some other homebrew to show you what it's like. So I'm going to show you a PS Ninja. And I'm actually going to be making a video later in the series on how to prevent getting banned, and this is, this is part of it. So you see this is another package file. This does something totally different. So you can just scroll through it, you know. And uh, the last uh, package file or homebrew on my PS3 is Rebug Toolbox. So guys, this isn't my like main PS3 that I use for modding. This is I'm just using this PS3 for this series. Um, everything's cleared off of it basically. Um, but but yeah, so that's why I don't have a whole lot on here. Only three. Um, but yeah, so this is Rebug Toolbox. This is this something totally different, which I'll talk about in another video? I know I keep on saying that, but there's just a lot to cover. Um, so yeah, and then again, you could quit just like you were quitting a game. All 
Alright, so I hope this video was helpful. I hope you, you know, know what package files are, homebrew is, you know, how to use and install package files. Um, so yeah, in later videos I'll be installing more with you uh, and showing you how to use them. So today we didn't really learn how to use Multiman. I just showed you that it's a file manager and showed you that you could view your PS3's files, which you can't really do with anything with yet. But this is supposed to just give you a basic understanding so that later on uh, things will be a lot easier. So again, thanks for watching. Um, see you later.